welcome back to another video this really popped when i saw it that to me is a monster increase again this book got hot this book is ready to go higher so let's jump right into it we are back today with another statue review from diamond select toys without further ado let's get into the review What is going on YouTube? I am Lawrence, your host over at Mighty Comics and Collectibles, and thank you for joining me for another video here on the channel. Today we have another eBay sales video for you guys. If you're not familiar with this one, what I do is I take six books that sold on eBay over the past week, and I break down the data using GPA, telling you if the people out there got good deals on these books, if the books have bottomed. Regardless, these videos are always fun. Before we get started in the video, like always, I want to remind you guys, if you're not a current subscriber of the channel, guys, you're missing out because once we hit 5,000 subs and we're almost there, I'm giving away an Iron Man 1. That's right. Do me a favor, tap that like button, check out all the new merch I have for available down below. Let's check out some eBay books. We're going to start off this week talking about this book, Detective Comics number 71, and this classic cover featuring the Joker. Now, these Golden Age books don't come up for sale that often, so keep that in mind. This one was listed for $1,650, but the best offer was accepted for $1,500. Now, this one is at a 1.0 grade, and as we check out the GPA analysis, the last sale at a 1.0 was way back in November of 2020 for $1,650. And there's something going off in my mind. I wonder if this was the exact copy that was sold way back when, considering it was listed for that amount, $1,650. Regardless, somebody got a little bit of a deal. Surprised me they actually had to give a deal on this book, considering how hot Golden Age books have been right now. A nice Golden Age key for your collection. The next book we're going to jump into is this copy of Amazing Spider-Man number 129. This one graded at a CGC 7.0. Now, the first thing I notice when I look at this listing is that it's not listed in the description of this book. It just says comic book pre-owned. The person did have 100% feedback and did not have any other comics for sale. Regardless, guys, this book actually sold for $1,375 on just one bid. And I'm wondering if somebody thought this was a scam and that's what I only sold for $1,375. Regardless, as we get into the GPA data, you guys could see that the last sale for this book was in April of 2023, so this month, for $1,725. So I'm not sure if that, that sale occurred after this one or before it. So either way, this person got a little bit of a deal. The 90-day average for this book was $1,754. The 12-month rolling average, 1973 In 2022, the average was $2,135. And way back in 2021... 2260 bucks. You guys know when we're talking Bronze Age keys, this is one of the books I want to own. Unfortunately, it has come down a little bit. We're talking about just over 24%. But like I always said, guys, if you're willing to hold this book for the long term, I think you're just going to be just fine. Either way, somebody snagged this book for a great deal. Next up is a monster key. Pun intended, guys. We have an Incredible Hulk number one in the raw form that sold on April 7th of this month. Now, it's listed as Marvel Silver Age comic book, The Incredible Hulk number one, good to very good, and it sold for $12,000 on just one bid. The first thing I had to do was check out the seller to see if they had any other comics for sale, and of course, this person did not. It may very well be a scam, but it might not. I'm going to call this book a 1.0 just from looking at it, but keep in mind, it's a raw book. You never know what you're going to get could be restored, could have things missing. You just don't know. But somebody wanted to take a chance. Taking a chance sometimes can be beneficial. Just be careful. Thank God eBay offers a money back guarantee for such big purchases like this. As we get into the GPA data, guys, you can see the last 1.0 that sold was in January of this year for $14,500. There is no 90-day average because this book sold over three months ago. The 12-month rolling average was $11,867 on just two sales. The 2022 average was $9,230. $34 on one sale and way back in 2021 it was $7,914. The one thing that I'll always say about this book it was down. It was so undervalued for such a long time. I was telling people to go out and if you can get a one key right now, what would it be? It would be an Incredible Hulk number one, the scarcest Silver Age Marvel key. This book is not only 
stood the test of time. People are talking about comics getting crushed right now, especially Silver Age keys. This one is holding pretty steady. If you bought it in 2021, you've almost doubled your money. And I think this person took a great chance. Hey, if it ends up having an issue, ends up being scammed, they're going to get their money back from eBay. You just have to be very careful. But this person wanted to go for it. The next book we're going to talk about is a book we're all familiar with. It is a copy of Ultimate Fallout 4 in a CGC 9.8 and the first appearance of Miles Morales. Now, this book was listed for $1,999, but sold on April 7th for only $1,800. And that's what I'm seeing is really the floor for this book right now. It seems to have bottomed out, stalling right at $1,800, 17 and chains. Regardless, as we get into the GPA data, guys, you can see that the last sale for this book was $1,800. $68 this month. The 90 day average for this one, $1,852 on 66 sales. The 12 month rolling average, $2,266 on a whopping 264 sales. In 2022, the average was $2,631. And way back in 2021, $2,540. Now, I remember the top being for this book, the top sale, I think in 2020, 2021, was almost $4,000. So that book is taking over a 50% haircut from the $4,000 range. Regardless, I think this one's down about 27% since 2021. Again, it's a book that you guys should think you should own in your collection. However, I'm not sure if now is the time or not. To me, there's just way too many copies and way too many sales to be going out and spending this kind of money right now. There are much better books, in my opinion, are worth adding to the collection right now. Again, if you own the book or want to own the book, that's great. I would just rather put my money elsewhere right now. You guys want to talk about Silver Age books? How about this undervalued one? It is a copy of Showcase 22 and the first Silver Age appearance of the new Green Lantern. Again, this one, another raw key I wanted to bring to you guys. This one sold at auction for one bid for $4,200 on April 6th. Now, I'm looking at this book and it looks to me like it's around a 3.0. So that's the data we're going to take from GPA. This one, again, crazy because you guys, you guys know... GPA doesn't record raw book sales. They only record CGC graded books. And guess what? The last sale for a 3.0 was in March for guess what? 4,200 bucks. The 90 day average for this one, 3,503 bucks on only two sales. The 12 month rolling average, $3,823. The 2022 average, $3,884. And way back in 2021, $3,154. Now you can see the DC James Gunn effect is starting to take shape with this book. It is up over the past 90 days of about $800. So that is great. Somebody thinks this book probably is a 3.0, possibly even better, spending $4,200 on a raw copy. Regardless, guys, I think if we're talking about DC keys, like I always tell you guys, they're not all created equal. I would stick to the best of the best, and I think this is one of them. So if you want to own a first Silver Age appearance of the Green Lantern, now may be time. The last book we're going to talk about this week is one of my favorite comics of all time. It is a copy of Marvel Superheroes Secret Wars number 8 in a CGC 9.8 off-white to white pages. Now, you guys know this is the origin of the symbiote alien costume. Now, this one sold on April 5th, 2023 for $725. As we get into the GPA data for this one, the last sale has been recorded at $725. The 90-day average for this book, $671. The 12-month rolling average, $717 on a whopping 330 sales. A very popular book. The 2022 average, $756 and way back in 2021, $702. So again, a model of consistency. We're talking about this book. Again, one of my favorite books growing up. Still to this day, I love this book, especially the cover. Now, do I want to own this book? 100%. I want it in a 9.8. That's why I'm showing you guys the grade. But again, you should own this book regardless no matter what grade it is. Again, if you want to talk about getting the most bang for your buck, it's probably at a 9.8 only. So definitely buy this one if you're interested. That's it for another weekly eBay sales video, guys. Again, a lot of books seem like they're plateauing, and I think some great deals can be had right now on Silver Age books if you're willing to hold for the next 10 to 15 years or possibly 20, so keep that in mind. Again, if you're trying to flip books in this market, I think it's going to be incredibly hard, so I would stay away from that if you can. Hope you guys enjoyed this one. This is Lawrence over at Mighty Commons and Collectibles saying thank you for watching, and I'll talk to you guys soon.